So when I was deciding to come to UP, I was thinking about where I would want to live and what kind of experience I wanted to have. Um, and I had studied abroad before and I was able to be with a host family in that context and it really opened my eyes to the culture. All I told them was the day that I was going to show up and what time and they gave me their address 800 meters west of the cemetery, 100 meters north. So I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to find it. They live on this big giant compound and I guess collectively they're called the Pachugas, which is just a nickname, um, but everyone in town knows them so it's really fun to just say that I'm living with the Pachugas and everybody knows a story about Pablo or a story about Marlin. And there's always something happening, there's always a ton of people around and the little community that we have there is um, really cultural and really true to Costa Rica. They will do anything for anyone at any time. When I came to live with the Pachugas, I spoke zero Spanish. Um, but I just kind of dove right into it, and they are really, really patient with me. And they would repeat things, and we would act things out. And now, um, with my Spanish lessons that I'm taking once a week, uh, my teacher says I'm at an intermediate level and could be going into the advanced level soon. And I think it's because I get to have like 12 professors of Spanish here in the house. Probably my favorite part of this whole experience is living with the family. I really wanted to be rooted to the community, the larger community that we're in, which is um, Ciudad Colon, El Rodeo, and the community there. So it kind of tied me to both things. I still got to have my UP experience in life and meet people from all around the world, but then I also got to have a life living in Costa Rica.